Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Noor Hamadi. I'm 19 years old, about to be 20, about two months. Um, started my uh, journey on YouTube basically with this car, changed my entire life. Uh, not specifically this, but BMW in general. My life wasn't always like this to where I had a beautiful car, um, a beautiful channel where a lot of you know great people are watching my videos. But just to take it back, back in middle school and high school, I was always the type of person, I still am that type of person, that whatever I do in life, it has to revolve around making a career out of it. I don't like wasting time, I always like to improve, I always like to do things that will make me better in the future. Whether that's learning how to use new you know applications, whether that's you know uh, playing games, <laughs> it's as ridiculous as that. Playing games, for most people didn't understand that you can actually make money playing games, whether that's on YouTube or joining teams. Now, for me, I ended up joining a few teams, some actually big teams. I pushed myself really, really hard to join those big teams. And and I was actually in a good space. I was actually in a good spot. I was in some team with 200,000 subscribers. Um, if you guys don't know about Psycho Gaming, Psycho Team, uh, they're a trick shotting team. I don't know, if, maybe you guys don't know, but for those of you who know, it's a good thing to add in. Um, I was a trick shotter until uh, basically my grades I've noticed were really really falling the money that I was making off of trick shotting wasn't nearly enough as uh, you know going to school and getting an education it's kind of one of those things in life you got to balance out is what you're doing gonna make you more money in the future than uh, you know pursuing school because school is really important uh, for me personally I don't find school is that important but it is still important in my life and I'm gonna try to pursue it as far as I can. But that's the dream. Who doesn't want to become rich and not have to go to school? So all those aside, me basically trick shotting, doing bad at school. Um, you know, it's basically just playing video games. I was one of those kids that would sit home, play video games, trying to make a career out of it. Um, you know, and trying to get money in order to, you know, just have a good life. But that soon hit me hard, and I, you know, came to realize that, you know, trick shotting is not gonna get me anywhere. So I ended up quitting that. I ended up quitting YouTube for several months, actually, I think like over a year maybe. I got back on track in high school, it was actually the sophomore and senior, no, 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 pretty much the last two years of high school, so junior, senior year, got back in track, got accepted to a university. I wanted to set a goal for myself. Uh, I wasn't at that age to where you know you wanna, you wanna gain money to financially support a family. I was at that time in my life where I know I saw this car, this BMW, and it was just, you know, BMW was just, for some reason, the most precious thing in my life at that time. You know, I told my parents, you know, if I get a BMW, do I have to do this, do I have to do that? They're just looking at me as a kid that was playing video games his entire life, didn't care anything about school. They said, if you get a BMW, you can do whatever you want, but you have to get it yourself. And I was like, you know what? If you guys will actually let me get it, because I'm in their household, I have to ask for their permission. I said, if you guys will let me get the car, I will, I will turn my life around. And you know, from my parents, my mom somewhat believed in me, you know dads, they don't believe in you until they actually see you succeed. So for me, I joined a car club in high school junior year. I had a few really good friends like Richard, Tanner, and Ethan, really helped me out, really got me into cars. Um, I really, really, really got into cars actually, like I actually like, shifted from video game being a complete nerd into uh, like pretty much a car nerd, and I started learning everything about cars, mostly BMWs and uh, you know how they're just the ultimate driving machine. I ended up driving one. I actually loved this car before I even had my license. I have to, I'm pretty sure I almost got this car before I even had my license. All right guys, so if you guys know, you need money in order to get a car. I mean, there's no other way. My parents aren't gonna buy it for me. I'm not, I don't have those kind of parents where they just buy me anything I want. I wish I did, but that wasn't the case. Um, actually, they, you know, they actually pushed me. They actually made me grind for what I wanted, and that's this car. So I ended up getting accepted to a new university. I want to graduate within four years. I just want to get my degree and be able to afford this car. Now as you guys can see, I actually have this car. I got this car in the first year of college, first summer, and um, I realized in college, you know, four years is a long time to wait for, you know, this car. I really, really, really wanted it. So um, I went ahead and started applying to all kinds of different jobs. Got accepted to a few in the end of the summer of senior year. Went ahead and worked at a grocery store for about a year and a half now. And uh, while I was being a grocery store, the first six months, you know, I was happy, I was content, I was like, I'm almost there. I'm gonna be able to put a down payment on this car and finally get this car. But then I figured out it's very impractical, you know? I didn't really, I didn't enjoy spending nine hours uh, of my day at a grocery store, um, you know, just for the money they were, you know, it, it, if they're not giving you enough money for your time, most people end up opting out because some people value their time more than others. So that being said, uh, I went back to YouTube, I, I went ahead and threw up like two videos. 
Uh, these videos were the Plasti Dip video and like uh, the pretty much the shocks for the rear trunk. I threw out those two videos and uh, after that, you know, I lost no, mo I lost all motivation again. I had like 100 views a piece. Went back to Rayleigh's, did another three months. But within those three months, like the nine months into the job, um, I saw some comments. I saw some likes. The Plasti Dip video actually got a thousand views, and I was like, wow, okay thousand people just saw my video um, this was a how-to video I was like oh my god I'm actually like you know I was freaking out I was like I'm gonna become famous and all that stuff but obviously that's not the case but you know that's what that's what pushed me small things you know the thousand views to most people don't really mean much for me it meant the world it meant a new opportunity so I ended up taking it uh, I went ahead and pumped out a lot more videos and you know on the way I, I quit I came back quit came back but thankfully you guys were always here for me. So that being said, let me backtrack a little bit. I got enough money from my grocery store to afford a down payment on this car. Now thankfully, my parents being the nice people that they are, they allowed me to pretty much finance it under their name. So I don't have to have that 22% annually interest, which is absolutely ridiculous. I had 3%, you know, which is great, which is amazing. It allowed me to pay for this car. Interest is not really a good thing to do. Um, but I mean, at the time, I felt like I can actually make something out of this car. I can I can actually make a career out of my car. Now having that mindset and where I am today shows that things can come true and you know from gaming to making money it was possible. I was making money. It was literally nothing. I barely made anything. Actually I think it was only five dollars in the five years that I was trick shotting, but it was money and it kept me grinding. Now with this car um, when I got it, I pumped out a few more videos and if for you guys who don't know my channel Most of you guys who are on this channel know me because of this one video which was the hidden features part one um, This video went up viral within like two months. It got like 600,000 views and today it currently stands at 1.7 million I really appreciate it. That is amazing Most people who even have a hundred K on YouTube don't even have a video with a million to views so having one that's really close to 2 million views is just ridiculous so that's what I did guys so I ended up going on the grind uh, basically quit, quit gaming focused on school uh, got a job got this car uh, you know financing it and then making something out of this car now you can literally make a job out of anything people always tell me you know like I don't know what I want to do with my life what do you like to do in life you know when you find what you want to do in life uh, you can literally make it your career. It doesn't matter what it is. I've tried making gaming a career. It didn't work out for me, but it do had worked out for millions of people on YouTube, making so much money. People, gamers, actually, in some cases, some gaming teams consider themselves a sport team. So it's actually ridiculous. And then I turn a car into something I want to do. And, you know, I'm not making the most money as of now, um, but I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm content with it. Um, it's always room to grow. I love this car. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, and that's all thanks to you guys. This journey wasn't easy. I, at one point, you know, I was doing YouTube school and uh, you know work. It was just absolutely horrific. I did not enjoy it. Um, but you know, hard work really does pay off. And you know, I have no one else to thank for but you guys. So God bless you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.